my talk is five books in five minutes to help build a better DevOps culture. Five minutes. All right, so show of hands, who here has quit their job within the last two years? I have, all right. Who here wants to quit right now? <laughs> yeah, I see some hands. All right, so these books have helped me try to build a better culture uh, where I work. So number five, number five, Peopleware by Tom DeMarco and Tim Lister. Peopleware. And so people want to have social bonding, right? They want to belong to a group, a tribe, uh, a team. But at the same time, knowledge workers need quiet and uh, an uninterrupted flow to, to actually get their work done and to just think, right? So lesson one, open spaces sucks. We all hate it, right? I guarantee you, if you're a recruiter and you put in your uh, profile that no open office plans, you will increase your recruiting effort by 15%, guaranteed. So, yeah. <laughs> now, but you do want a communal space. So communal spaces should be voluntary, right? It should be like a, a lunch table where everyone shares food and socializes and talk or kind of like a game area where you could just relax with the couch and games. It shouldn't be, you know, forced into an open area because you, uh, you can't do anything like that. So number four is Drive by Daniel Pink. Drive. So why do we work 40 hours, 50 hours, 60 hours and try to still bring our best passion and effort to our jobs? So Daniel Pink says there's three things right? Well, one is money, right? So don't underplay your employees because we'll know, especially if you're an underrepresented group, don't underpay. Uh, number, but once you get, you have your food and your uh, rent taken care of, there's still self-actualization. So Daniel Pink breaks into three things. AMP, autonomy, mastery, purpose. So autonomy, don't micromanage, right? We're pretty smart. We'll figure out how to do things. And we'll come ask if we don't know how to do it. Two, mastery. We want to learn new things, right? There's a sense of accomplishment in learning new things. And also keeps, you know, if we want a new job, keeps a pace with the current job market. And three is purpose. You know, so if, let's say you have a JIRA, what, board that uh, just has three tasks, right? At the end of the week, you finish those three tasks. Doesn't mean anything, right? You don't get a sense of accomplishment. But if you know why you want to do things, then there's a sense of, okay, completion, and I did something important with my time and not just complete three tasks. Now, uh, especially with uh, why, there's another book, number three, Start With Why by Simon Sinek. Start With Why. And he expounds a lot more eloquently about why uh, you have to start with why you're doing something, and that will inspire your, uh, your team to do the how and the what. Number two is Seven Pillars of uh, Servant Leadership by James Sipe and Don Frick. So being a leader doesn't mean telling people what to do, barking orders, dictating orders. It's about serving your team, serving the people in your company, right? You want to be there emotionally, to serve their emotional needs, to feel safe, to feel valued. You want to provide the tools and the resources for your team to do whatever they need to do to get their jobs done, right? You don't only want to show the path, but you want to tell why you're doing the path and how you're going to get there. And that leads to number one. Uh, number one uh, is 360-degree 360, uh, 360 leader by John Maxwell. So being a leader doesn't mean, oh, you just have a title, you have a position, you have seniority. Right? You can be a leader in all 360 degrees of your circle. You can mentor uh, junior developers. You can influence uh, your peers. You can guide your leaders, your managers, into making good decisions. And if you're a leader, you know, be brave to accept that leadership from whoever it comes from. Right? doesn't matter what their rank, position, title is. So in closing, uh, be the change you want to see at work, and it's easier said than done. Changing culture is really hard. And 451, under five. <laughs>